Hey, it's Katrina Sawa here with jumpstartyourbiznow.com. And I wanted to talk to you about creating freebies and doing giveaways, online giveaways. So I had a lot of clients right now. There's a lot of giveaways going on. I'm in a, I'm a part of two right now, just this month. But every year I try to join, say, three to five giveaways, the online kind where a whole bunch of people give away prizes. You know what I mean, right? So I try to do about five of them. I usually spread them out. I don't usually do it two at a time, but these were two of my friends that are doing them. And I really wanted to support them and give some amazing stuff away in their giveaway. Um, but so beyond the giveaways, there's also the online summits, right? So that's where you do a short speech. Sometimes it's five minutes. Sometimes it's 30 minutes. Um, sometimes it's longer. Sometimes there's multiple speakers at one time and there's a whole bunch of speakers throughout the day or multiple days. Um, and summits are good. And sometimes the summits also have giveaways. So you can listen to the speaker or do a gift or get their free gift. Um, I did one like that back in February, my Love Yourself Successful Summit and Giveaway. Um, but so why do you need to look at some of these and what kind of gifts should you offer is a question that comes up in my Live Big Mastermind all the time with my clients because it's a great way to get in front of new people new often, more often in more ways, right? To do either or both, right? So how do you know which ones are the best ones to do and which ones aren't? Because everybody and their brother seems to be doing an online summit these days or a giveaway, right? So let me just kind of talk through some of it and hopefully this is helpful for you. Uh, so the way that I consider joining a summit, so let's just talk about summits real quick, where I'm a speaker, I like, I, I give preference to those where the speaker is speaking live. And when we're speaking live to a Zoom room, not an online platform where there's nobody there that can, that I can actually interact with. I prefer that as a speaker because I think Number one, I get more results of people that opt in for things on my website. And number two, it's just more engaging and people tend to take a next step with me because we're there connecting, right? So it's more about connection. I steer clear usually of the ones that want a pre-recorded talk that I can, they're just going to slap up somewhere and hopefully what people watch the replays. Not really worth my time and I definitely wouldn't invest in those kinds of uh, summits, just an FYI. So whether you're hosting a summit and you're looking at this as the host and what your speakers want, or if you're looking as a speaker and how to grow your business with these opportunities, I'm just trying to give some tips on what I've been doing over the last eight to 10 years of these things have been going on, right? So um, I also look at who's hosting the summit. I know it's not fair for some of you who are newer and trying to use this to grow your list, but I do look at how professional you hold yourself in your own website. A lot of times I've been promote, um, approached by newer business owners who don't even have their own website yet. And all they have is this page for the summit and that usually isn't even done yet. So I definitely won't consider doing anything with anyone who doesn't already have their own web presence established. So, and I would recommend that as well. So, you know, that's the word to the wise for those newbies. You really have to get a professional website going and not something that looks kind of like you built it yourself. You really need to spend more money on your website, you guys, in general, because it is such the most important, it's the most important marketing tool in your entire business is your web presence and what you look like from the outside looking in when we don't know you yet, right? So there's that. So I look at that. Um, I sometimes will look at the number of followers people have on social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, and see if they have a good amount of followers and or if they're a good marketer, meaning they're out there doing things and they have their business stuff on their social media. Some people don't. Some people don't even have their business on social media. I'm like, ah, so that's, that's not a good way to represent yourself if you're really trying to build your business. So I look at how they're marketing themselves because if how they're marketing themselves is probably also how they're going to market the summit. And I don't want to be a part of a summit who someone doesn't really know how to market themselves or they haven't hired a team. There's a lot of these summits and giveaways. You can actually hire a team of people who do this every day for other people 
um, and can run the summit or run it for you. And they're much better at the marketing because they do it every day and they know what to look out for. So if you're going to host something, you definitely want to hire a team to do that. Regardless of how good of a marketer you are, um, I still hire a team when I do stuff like that just because there's too much to do, right? So I look at that, I look, I weigh those options and then anything, to, uh, you know, around a hundred to three hundred dollars is is an easy yes in my mind an easier way to invest some of you who are newer maybe don't have a lot of hundreds of dollars laying around um then you want to be maybe more selective it doesn't mean necessarily to do the free ones though sometimes it's really worth investing like mine was i want to say 400 250 to 400 dollars to invest in to be a speaker but I'm a hell of a marketer, right? And so, and we got 650 uh, registrants on my summit and giveaway. Uh, so something to think about um, when you're deciding which ones to sign up for. So these giveaways though, usually when you're in a summit, you give something away, you gotta have landing pages, right? You have to take people to a landing page. Please don't take them to your contact page. Please don't take them straight to your homepage only. Please don't take them to a free call page because most people will not sign up for a free call with you if they don't even know you yet and haven't experienced you in some other way, meaning an ebook or a video or watched some of your stuff or listened to some of your trainings. You really need a free gift or two or three uh, that uh, showcases how smart you are, like what you know and what you can, you know, that they really feel like they got value out of it. Please don't give some kind of a fluff item, like a just a little fill-in template that doesn't really give them a lot of meat because people won't want more, right? They won't want more if they don't really get wowed by your free stuff. So you do need to have some free stuff. You wanna have a couple landing pages. I personally recommend you personalize these landing pages. Therefore, when you do multiple summits or multiple giveaways, you're going to have so many different pages on your website from all these events that you might think, oh, that's overkill, I don't need all that, but I beg to differ. I, I know that when you can get more segmented with your marketing on every little thing that you do, you will attract better and more customers from that. So when I attend a giveaway, some of these giveaways that I'm sharing with you today in my email, if you're not watching this now, like if you're not watching it today when I'm recording this, uh, then you're not, you don't know the giveaways I'm doing right this second. Um, but Every single giveaway or summit that I do, almost every single one will have its own separate landing page so that I can personalize, like, thanks for coming over from the Blankety Blank Summit. I'll even sometimes put a video on that page. Hey, thanks for watching me on the summit, or thanks for coming to get the giveaway on this Blankety Blank giveaway. And why you need the things I'm giving away below are because, blah, blah, blah. and why you want to listen to me is because, you know, a little bit of credibility, right? And proof. So I do things like custom videos and custom, you know, welcome messages on the top of the pages so that it the people that land there know this is just for them from that particular thing, okay? And then you can just clone pages and change things out and swap them out. You have to get really good at cloning your pages. I mean, the, your website is the hub of your business these days. And I know this video is about the other things, but like your web, my clients struggle because they, well, can't I just use the same page? Well, no, you can't. You need to use a different page with a different autoresponder, a different tag, a different, you know, just, you just have to tweak it slightly though. So you can clone and tweak and recreate uh, to be more custom uh, marketed to who you're trying to reach, the audience you're trying to reach. So that is my recommendation. That is the ideal that I recommend. Of course, you don't always have to start there, but start really thinking about your website as the hub of your business. And these investments, these small investments in giveaways or summits are a great way to add 40 to 400 people to your email list. And then yes, you have to be emailing and nurturing them and building that relationship and engaging with them. It's just what we do in business. If you really wanna be in business these days, not every business has to do this strategy. Like if you're a brick and mortar, you don't necessarily, but even network marketers, even whatever. I mean, you wanna have your own web presence. You wanna put your stuff out there in front of new people. You wanna get a bunch of people on your list and you wanna to talk to them in different ways through email and also phone and direct mail. 
So you need to start getting other forms of contact information, not just email. So uh, I know it's a lot of stuff, but this is the kind of stuff that I sort through and figure out with clients like you, like what you need to do exactly, what you need to say, how to do it the most affordable way possible so that you can get as many leads as possible coming in the door so that at least a handful of them want to talk to you and or buy from you every single month. And you can make a good living, make a lot of money doing what you love, ideally. But that's, that's what I do. And um, this is just like one piece of it, which is the freebie landing page, uh, semi giveaway kind of stuff that, that could be a really great lead generator for you in your business. And I'm not selling any stuff today. That's not my goal here. I'm not trying to get you in the summit. I was just trying to educate you and give you some tips on that because I get a lot of questions from my clients. And I do giveaways and summits as a participant because they bring in lots of leads and I get paying clients from it. So I think it's a good strategy if you've done, if you do it right and you really pay attention to the process you're gonna take people through um, in and through your website and in the follow-up. So if you need help with that, I'm here. I'm happy to talk with you. You can go to askcat.biz and schedule a call anytime. Uh, that's A-S-K-K-A-T dot B-I-Z. And there's a questionnaire there you have to fill out and then you get to take it in my calendar and schedule a call. Why not? Why not? You never know what I'm going to say in that call. I could give you the next biggest, brightest idea. I could encourage you to triple your rates for God's sakes and you might believe you're worth it. And then boom, all of a sudden you make more money. So you just never know what's going to come out of that kind of a call if you come and talk to me. So have a great day, everyone, and we'll talk to you soon.